नेक्स्ट टॉपिक वी विल डिस्कस टुडे इज रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट बाय द लेंसेस वॉट इज लेंस लेंस इज अ ट्रांसपेरेंट मीडियम फ्रॉम विच द रे ऑफ लाइट पासिंग एंड मे बी इट विल डाइवर्ज और कन्वर्ज इफ आई एम सेइंग द लाइट वेन अ रे ऑफ लाइट पासिंग फ्रॉम लेंसेस वी आर हैविंग अ टू टाइप ऑफ लेंसेस कॉन्वेक्स लेंस एंड अ कॉन्केव लेंस दिस इज अ कॉन्वेक्स लेंस एंड दिस वन इज अ कॉन्केव लेंस right this is a convex lens this is a convex lens which is thicker in in the middle and thinner from the outside and this one is a concave lens which is thinner in the middle and thicker from its edges okay and convex lens convex lens is basically this is a converging lens when a ray of light passing through it all the ray of light converges at one focus point okay and this one is a concave lens in this when a ray of light passing through the pole or parallel to the principal axis it will uh, more spread and spread out in a different direction so this one is a diverging lens concave lens is a diverging lens and convex lens is a converging lens this is a convex lens we can draw the image of convex lens and concave lens now how uh, the image is formed at the focus first we have to draw a parallax which is passing through this point right when a ray parallel what is this ray this is known as a principal axis principal axis okay and when a ray of light when a ray of light parallel to the principal axis these rays are parallel to the principal axis this is a focus point on the left hand side and it meets at some focus it will meet at a focus it converges so this point is a focus it will focus at this point right so all the rays converges at one point at the focus clear so whenever a ray parallel to the principal axis and passing through the convex lens it will converge and meet at one point that point is known as a focus point in the same case if i will draw for the concave for concave same we can draw a line we can draw a line this is a principal axis and when a ray parallel to the principal axis this is a center one and when a ray parallel to the principal axis as we know concave lens is a diverging lens when a ray of light passing through the uh, pa parallel to the principal axis it will diverge it will diverge spread out clear so this is a focus point f and here also it is f when we bent on the back side it will meet by the dotted line we can this is a focus point at the back point right so this is known as a concave lens now uh, we have to uh, find out the how the formation of a different different images formed by the two lenses convex lens how the image is formed when the object is placed at the focus when the object is placed between the focus and the pole when the object is placed beyond 2f or when the rays are coming from infinity how the image is formed for a convex lens because image is formed for a convex lens because this lens is a converging lens so image is formed on a convex lens so we will study the formation of different type of images six images we can formed on for for the convex lenses now the next topic is rules for obtaining image for convex lenses there are the different rules uh, when we will draw the image formation then we have to follow these rules what is the first rule first rule is this is a convex lens this one is a principal axis when a ray of light parallel to the principal axis it will pass through the focus right so this is the first rule 
whenever a ray of light passes parallel to the principal axis it will pass through the focus point this is a rule one then rule second whenever a ray of light passing through the optical center of the convex lens the light will go straight this is the second rule of the convex lens what is the second rule whenever a ray of light passing through the optical center it will move straight to uh, it will move straight in the same direction third rule what is the third rule third rule is whenever a ray passing through the focus then it will become parallel to the principal axis this one whenever a ray passing through the focus it will become parallel to the principal axis by following these three rule we can make the six images for different different when the object is placed at a different positions whether at the focus whether in between the focus and the pole whether the rays are coming from the infinity and so on so we can form the different images when the object is kept on a principal axis at a different different positions now we consider the different cases formation of different type of images by a convex lens so first case is when the object is placed between the optical center and the focus this is the lens this is the convex lens and this one is the optical center this is a principal axis x and x x and x dash right and we have to place a object between optical center and the focus this is the object i place between a b is the object which is placed between optical center and the focus now we apply the first rule when a ray of light parallel to the principal axis it will pass through the focus right and what is the second one when a ray of light it will meet at a some point d right and when and the second ray second ray is passing through the center of curvature whenever a ray is passing through the center of curvature then it will move in a straight line dy okay so sorry c y now from here we can see the image this is the eye so we are not which type of Im image is not formed on other side right hand side right so virtual which type of image is formed virtual it is not formed on this side right so now what we have to do we have to extend the line on the back side so that it can meet at some point on the left hand side clear and when we just extend it which type of image is formed this is a virtual image behind the object because this is the object and a dash b dash is the image which is formed behind the object and what are the properties first is image formed by the convex lens when the object is placed between optical center and the focus then the image is formed behind the object right which type of image is formed the image is formed virtual because it is not formed on the screen and erect image is formed and larger than the object see the size of the image is sorry so the size of the object is small as compared to the size of the image so all these these are the image formed by the uh, convex lens when it is when the object is placed between optical center and the focus and practically also i will upload the video for this how the image uh, how the virtual image is formed and enlarged image is formed for a convex lens when it is between the focus and the optical center now the uh, third case when the object is between focus and 2f now we have to place the object between f and 2f so this is the 
object A B. A B is the object which is placed on the principal axis between F and two F. According to the rule, first when a ray of light parallel to the principal axis, it will pass through the focus point. It will pass through the focus point. Okay, arrow we have to draw. It will pass through the focus point. And second ray is passing through the optical center. So then the second ray is passing through the optical center. So then where it will meet? It will meet beyond the two F. So now we have to draw the image. This is the image. Inverted image is formed. Enlarged image is formed. That is A dash, B dash. This is A dash and B dash. So when the object is between F and two F, draw the arrow. Okay. So whenever the object is between F and two F, one ray is passing through the sorry parallel to the principal axis. It will pass through the focus. And second ray is passing through the optical center where it will meet. It will meet beyond two F. And which type of image is formed? Enlarged image is formed. Bigger than the object. Bigger than the object. Enlarged and beyond two F. And real and inverted image is formed. So these are the characteristics of the image formed when object is between F and two F. Now the case fourth when the object is at two F means double of the focal length of the lens. When the object is placed at two F, this is A B. A B is the object placed at a placed at two F. Same rule. First rule when the ray of light parallel to the principal axis, it will pass through the focus. Okay. And second rule arrow we have to draw. Second rule: When a ray of light passing through the center of curvature, sorry, through the yes, from the center, it will move in a straight line. Where it will move, it is move in a straight line. So, which type of image is formed? This is two F. So, inverted, inverted image is formed. A dash, B dash. Inverted, real and inverted image is formed. The size of the image is same as the size of the object. So these are the characteristics when the object is at two f, right? This is the characteristics. Which type of image is formed? Real and inverted image is formed. The image is formed. The size of the image is same as the size of the object. So simple thing is you have to follow the rules. For the convex lens or for the lenses, then then uh, you can uh, draw the diagram correct on the sheet of paper. Now case second. This is the case second when a object is placed at a focus point. For example, if I am taking this convex lens and and we know the um, Uh, focal length of this lens that is for twenty centimeter. Then how the image is formed on the screen when a rays are coming from the when rays are coming and parallel to the principal axis. Then where the image is formed? Right. First we have to draw the object is placed at focus point. This is A B is the object which is placed at a focus point. According to the first rule, when a ray of light parallel to the principal axis It will pass through the focus. Where it will pass, it will pass through the focus point. And the second ray is passed through the optical center. The second ray is pass. It will pass through the optical center. And the image is formed. Where the image is formed? Image is formed at infinity. Where at infinity. So it is not possible to draw the image on the board because the image is very far away, very far away. So which type of image is formed? Image is formed at infinity. 
and real and inverted image. Which type of image is formed? The real and inverted image is formed highly enlarged. It means it is very big image, enlarged image. Enlarged means big image and real and inverted image is formed at infinity. So this is the second case when the object is placed at a focus point. Whenever you draw the diagram, always draw the arrow because these arrows shows in which direction the ray of light passing through the weather, passing through the focus, weather passing through the optical center. So always draw the arrow to show the direction of the ray of light. Now case fifth, when object is beyond 2F. This is the object is beyond 2F. When a ray of light passing through the principal axis, first rule, it will pass through the focus point. And the other ray, second rule, when a ray of light passing through the center of curvature, it will move and meet at some other side of the lens. So, where the image is formed? Image is formed between f and 2f of the other side of the lens. Here the image is formed smaller than the size of the object. This is a dash b dash. So what are the characteristics of the image? Real and inverted image is formed. The size of the image is smaller than the size of the object and the image is formed between f and 2f of other side of the lens. So these are the characteristics and when the case 6 when the object is at infinity when the rays are coming are coming from the infinity from very far distance then how we can form the image where the image is formed so when a ray of light is coming from infinity it will bend it will bend and one ray is passing through the optical center and meet at some this point. This is the focus point on the other side A dash B dash. So this is the image formed when a ray of light when a ray of light coming from the infinity then where the image is formed? Image is formed at a focus point on the other hand and real and inverted image is formed then very much smaller than the object which is placed at infinity. So these are the characteristics when the object is at infinity the image is real and inverted small image is formed very much smaller than the object which is placed at infinity.